everyone, this is Boshe, the electric Israeli, got some info about the possible, and I say possible until it's not here, it's always possible, uh, 2019 Nissan Leaf, it's going to be called the Nissan Leaf E+. I'm telling you, these uh, electric car names are getting longer and longer. The Tesla Model 3, uh, rear wheel drive, uh, performance, oh my God. Just give me one name. What do I need the whole thing? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, um, the Nissan Leaf 2019 E+, the 2018 was, in my opinion, a disappointment uh, for two reasons. Uh, battery is not big enough. And a disappointment because the cells are not there. I'm not saying disappointment that I don't like the car. I actually like it. I drove it. But a disappointment in terms of sales, and if it doesn't sell, that means it is disappointment. So the sales were not great at all uh, for 2018. Uh, two, re two main reasons. The battery is uh, too small, uh, only 150 miles. It's not too small if that's what you got, but there are uh, a Bolt TV, which has 240 miles. Now the Model 3s with 310 miles and on and on. So when you upgrade, if I have a Nissan, I have, I have, I have a Nissan Leaf, I'm driving it right now. I have an 80 miles Nissan Leaf. If I'm going to trade this car, I'm not going to trade it for 150. I want to trade it to 240, 250. Not to, anyway, so that's one reason, in my opinion. And I think there was like a Nissan Leaf fatigue because there was a lot of, there are a lot of uh, options out there. The second reason, I think, and that is bigger, is the rapid gate. If you remember, uh, the Nissan Leaf does not have cooling, active cooling system. And people who took a long trip and tried to uh, do a rapid charge uh, every, I don't know, every 100 miles or whatever, the car won't charge, overheat. It was a big uh, issue, really, really big issue. Uh, so the two things that are rumored to be, a few things actually, I'm going to share it all with you, is a 60 kilowatt hour battery, which will give you around 220 plus miles. It's great. It's great. But you know, again, when you have cars with more range than you think about it but let's say it's got anything up 200 miles plus it's great uh, it will have an LG cam uh, battery it's, it doesn't have it right now and uh, which has active cooling system that will be really great it will have a the capability of a quick 100 kilowatt uh, charge and kilowatt intake charge will, will be very 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 good we can give you a really rapid charging and uh, with active cooling so you'll be able to do it in multiple uh, um, a, a trip multiple times on, on one trip uh, the next thing which I think it's uh, really important uh, maybe to some people not to me I'm not style person I don't mind uh, but is the uh, is it going to look like the way the 2018 looks like now is it going to look like this uh, model is going to look like this model maybe i don't know uh, to me the current nissan leaf the one i drive in the in the second generation are really incredibly practical and a really really great car i absolutely love my nissan leaf so we'll see i'm sure the technology will be up to par with uh, adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist uh, with emergency braking and all those uh, 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 upgrades that you expect um, uh, a car to have but the most important thing how much is going to cost so as you know a base se a base ace leaf right now it's 29,900 let's call it 30,000 all right uh, so from what I'm so what from more my sources for what I'm hearing it's going to be um, about uh, 5,000 or so more 5,000 so far so going to be let's say about 35 36,000 for the SE E plus the SL E plus probably going to go to 42,000 uh, which has uh, you know the rapid charger port and uh, other things that you can have so 36 to 42 looks like what what it's uh, going to be but I think and you know I think this what will be their best advantage the best advantage is this not necessarily the price which is still good 36 is good is that nissan leaf is about in the united states from what i remember about 80 80 000 cars away from 
uh, from the 200,000 car uh, maximum when you can start uh, going back on the federal tax exemption, if you know what I mean. So when you get to 200,000, then you have two more quarters that uh, people can still buy it and get the full 7,500. And after the two quarters, there's two more quarters that it go to a half and two more quarters that go to half of the half and then it goes away. So uh, Tesla already expired by the end of this year, by the end of December, Tesla uh, uh, buyers are not going to get the full 75. Uh, GM is very close, within 10,000, I believe. So that would be a big advantage for them. So they can go practically for a whole year, for a whole year, four quarters, and still get uh, 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 the 7,500 tax incentive. And don't, do not, do not underestimate that uh, um, incentive. Do not underestimate that. See, for some people, it's very, very important. So if they get the 220 miles, the active cool uh, battery, the long range obviously comes with it. With 36 to 42,000, 36 to 42,000, with the full federal tax incentive, now they are better than Tesla and, and uh, 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 GM and uh, the Chevy Bolt EV. Uh, in terms of that, they get they get they take get advantage. They get a year ahead of everybody else, so that's very important. All right, so let's see what happens. Of course, I'll continue to update you as I always do. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Help me change the world one electric car at a time, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow with another episode.